A fighter plane with a missile on its tail. What's it like? A thrilling moment where split-second judgments and razor-sharp execution might spell a triumphant return, or a fiery doom. Join us as we study Navy fighter pilots' high-pressure world and missile evasion methods. The Three Missile Musketeers First, identify the enemy before evasive maneuvers. Fighter jets face three missile threats. The AIM-9 Sidewinder and heat-seeking Vipers are like ravenous serpents lured to heat. They target the infrared signature of your jet engine to burn you. A crimson streak with burning sensors would turn your plane into a hot mess. Dogfights are ideal for these close-range predators who replicate your every move. Radar-guided wolves. The AIM-120 AMRAM hunts methodically, unlike the visceral heat seeker. They use radio signals to track your every move and calculate your whereabouts. Imagine robotic wolves spotting your blip in a huge electronic landscape. Even beyond the visible range, these missiles pose a persistent threat. The first two target the aircraft, but the AGM-88 Harm targets radiation. A silent assassin targets enemy radar systems that guide anti-aircraft weapons or track incoming jets. It eliminates the enemy's eyes and ears before the conflict. These missiles help pilots in densely guarded airspace by allowing them to engage without being shot down. Distance, maneuvers, and terrain evasion equation. A missile is chasing you. What now? Complex elements determine the result of this airborne chase. Distance is important, but not absolute. A skillful pilot with a well-equipped plane can overcome a disadvantage with cunning and fast thinking. Pilots use jets and the environment to their advantage. High G turns. Imagine a fighter jet flying through tight loops and barrel rolls that would scare even the most experienced roller coaster rider. Rapid direction changes, frequently surpassing 9 Gs, disrupt a missile's tracking system. A target's thermal signature changes, making it difficult for heat-seeking missiles to latch on. Pilots comprehend speed, turn radius, and G-force tolerance's delicate balance. Testing the aircraft's limits is perilous, but competent pilots can discover the sweet spot. Exploring the sky, pilots can use the sky's vastness as a weapon. Sudden dives and climbs exploit missile guidance system flaws. A fast drop can place rain or the Earth's curvature between the pilot and radar-guided missiles. Climbs change the aircraft's heat signature, driving heat-seeking missiles off course. Altitude changes are risky. Descending too low reduces maneuverability and enhances ground-based defenses. However, climbing too high thins the air lowering engine thrust and slowing the airplane. This high-stakes hide-and-seek requires finding the ideal spot. Jinking terrain hugging. Bluffs can sometimes be the best defense. Jinking sudden course changes keep the missile guessing. Imagine a fighter aerially evading swatters like a bee. This unpredictability requires the missile to repeatedly change direction, consuming fuel and diminishing its chances of success. Terrain might also help. Along coastlines or mountain ridges, Earth's natural features can protect missiles. Become a machine ghost. Evasive techniques are important, but brute force is too. Force alone won't stop a missile from devouring your plane. Pilots use a variety of electronic countermeasures to disappear from the missile's view. Check out these tools. Chaff. Imagine a well-planned array of fake targets. Chaff is finely cut and shaped aluminum strips used to impair radar direction. These metallic clouds overwhelm the missile's radar seeker, breaking its lock and giving the pilot a crucial break. However, chaff deployment needs exact timing and resource management. Deploying chaff too early exposes the aircraft to other threats while deploying it too late leaves it exposed. To deploy the missile at the right time, a pilot must understand its capabilities and chaff dispersion. Flares, the searing seduction, fiery countermeasures generate heat stronger than aircraft engines. They create a heat beacon that confuses the heat-seeking missile when deployed at the correct time. This quick heat rise may cause the missile to lose its lock, giving the pilot seconds to avoid or counterattack. Timing is crucial. Flares released too early burn out before the missile detects them, while flares released too late make the aircraft a glaring target in the dark sky. The pilot masters fire, throwing flares at the right time to escape the predator. The catch, pilots have limited flares, Using them all leaves the plane defenseless. But those fleeting moments of heat give the pilot time to escape, fight back, or survive. The magic of electronics. Silence is dead when stealth is key. ECM saves the day. ECM uses many technologies to target opponent sensor and guidance system vulnerabilities. Breakdown of two important players. Jammers. 
these electronic magicians flood the airways with spurious signals, drowning out the missile's radar lock. Digital ventriloquists replicate the aircraft's signature to create phantom targets that dance with the real one. The missile sees it as trying to hear a whisper in a packed stadium. Confusion gives the pilot seconds to perform evasive maneuvers or take additional actions. ECM. A balanced act. ECM balances. Overusing it can expose you to other hazards while relying on it alone is risky. Understanding enemy systems, their strengths and weaknesses, and the proper timing to execute the right countermeasure is essential. The last resort, expulsion. Ejection is the last resort to save the pilot. Ejecting from a fighter jet is a hard, high-stakes maneuver for the worst scenarios. See the ejection sequence. A fatal missile is detected, so the pilot slams the ejection seat handle. The seat and pilot are thrown 20 Gs by explosive cartridges. The ascent, just the start. The canopy shatters during ejection, and the pilot is overwhelmed by a deafening scream, terrible G-forces, and a blurred cockpit. After clearing, the seat deploys stabilizing rockets and drogue chutes to slow the climb. Before the main parachute opens, the pilot can manually release the seat, giving a slim chance against gravity. The pilot uses cables to direct the fall to a safe landing, praying for forgiving terrain. Smooth fields are better than harsh mountains or cold water. Can a fighter jet take a missile? Jets are rigorously designed and engineered to withstand missile impacts. A jet's missile resistance depends on various factors. Missile type matters. A fighter plane may outperform a missile with a weaker warhead than one with improved guidance. Impact location. Impact location greatly impacts outcome. Aircraft susceptibility varies by location. Engine compartments, fuel systems, and avionics are reinforced for protection. Modern fighter jets have enhanced armor, structural reinforcements, and redundant systems. This cooperation improves the aircraft's battle survival. Advanced armor strategically positioned on the jet absorbs and disperses kinetic energy to reduce collision damage. The aircraft's frame is strengthened with structural enhancements to withstand missile strikes, redundant systems, and changing threats. Redundant systems. Fighter jets can preserve vital capabilities after a missile hit with these backup systems. In warfare, redundant flight controls, hydraulics, and electrical systems improve pilot survival. The challenge of adaptability. As missile technology advances, fighter jet survivability is tested. Fighter aircraft design must keep up with missiles improving guidance systems and warheads. How the industry addresses this issue. Tailored defenses. Fighter jets are constantly modified to face new missile threats. These new measures may include better jamming, countermeasures, and radar-absorbing materials. Last word, pilot's choice. After seeing how difficult it is to evade a missile in a fighter plane, let's ask the final question. What would you do in the cockpit? Would you use your abilities to dodge the missile or prepare to pull the ejection handle? The response varies on the missile type, threat distance, pilot competence, and countermeasure availability. There's no universal solution. However, good fighter pilots are educated to make split-second decisions based on real-time conditions, using evasive maneuvers, countermeasures, and their judgment to maximize survival. When you see a fighter jet flying, Remember the expertise and daring pilots need to handle the high-pressure environment of aerial combat. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating aviation stuff if you appreciate this missile evasion video. Please leave a blue heart in the comments to support these courageous pilots. See you next video.